We are continuing to follow new developments tonight involving a deadly crash near the Dayton International Airport. In just the last hour or so, we've learned a lot of new information about the victims and the accused driver. Generally Boric, live from where that deadly crash happened tonight, what are investigators telling you? Yeah, Adam, we now know the names of the four people killed in the crash that happened at the location behind me. We also have new information about the driver accused of initiating not only that crash, but one that happened earlier. Unimaginable tragedy now under investigation. The Ohio State Highway Patrol says four people were killed when the van they were traveling in was struck by an SUV. No children. We're adults. No children. The victims being identified late Monday night as Larry Edwards, 77, Tip City, who was the driver of the gray Chrysler van, Stephen Castle, 72, Clayton, Richard Coatney, 77, Piqua, Richard Turnbull, 66, Lewisburg. The sole person who survived from that van, Juan Nash, was taken to Miami Valley Hospital with serious life-threatening injuries. But investigators revealing the other involved, a white Volvo SUV, was also involved in a separate crash prior. They say the driver, 26-year-old Clayton Hughes of Blacklick, left the scene of the first accident on I-70 in Butler Township. Investigators say when Hughes didn't stop, the driver of the other car involved followed him while speaking with emergency personnel. That's when Hughes exited I-70 onto Airport Access Road and eventually hit the van with five people inside. Hughes was taken to Kettering Health with non-life-threatening injuries. The investigation is ongoing, but OSHP says they believe impairment was a factor in both of the crashes. Back to you in studio.